And I already mentioned that after a failed interview in 2000, January 2000, the Picton file was dormant, again, because of different priorities. In fact, the Picton was arrested by an officer, a relative rookie, 18 months experience, Nathan Wells, who was looking for weapons. And he got a search warrant, went to the Picton farm, executed the warrant, and saw all this Serena Abbott's ways inhaler, panties, condoms, all of this stuff. Picton didn't make any kind of kind of effort to hide anything, you know. There were frozen heads in his uh, deep freeze. You looked at the frozen meat that was in it, had women's DNA on them. And there was no surreptitious uh, efforts on the part of Picton. So had there been a cooperative policing at that time, that we would have apprehended Olson a lot earlier, or, or so, Picton a lot earlier, and a lot of lives would have been saved. But in reality, ladies and gentlemen, the corporation of Delta is a no-call, too small organization, and our taxpayers and commercial business owners deserve and expect it. A regional police force would not have the ability to offer the same level of customer service to the citizens of Delta. It has been proven over and over again that we are extremely well served by our forces, and I intend to make sure that not only that it stays that way, but that we are all on alert to ensure that it continues to improve and probably change. Does size matter again? Recent research in Canada says the higher the percentage of population that is included, uh, that is serviced by one police department, the lower the crime is. I'll send you the research. Uh, there is a strong statistical correlation uh, and it's significant. Uh, based on my experience in policing, and I've been around for a long time, obviously you can tell by looking at me, I don't support a general amalgamation of police services, but I do support an organized, specialized pre policing approach to deal with complex cross-boundary matters involving gang homicides, organized crime, outlaw motorcycle gangs, and major drug and technology, technology investigations. A general amalgamation would likely increase the gap between the police and the community, that's not what we need at this particular time. The police and community need to come together. The public need to trust and have confidence in their police, and that's not the situation right now. That trust and, and uh, confidence is waning in some respects. We need to get closer to our communities.